Hello everybody and welcome back to Steelwing 33 Plays XCOM 2. I'm Steelwing 33 and hello everybody. How's it going? Uh, last time we managed to finally skulljack a codec and the avatar popped out, which was scary, but we killed it immediately because we are we are too badass to be stopped. And uh, everything's going great. Um, I am going to be putting somebody in charge of the Advanced Warfare Center, I think. Uh, mostly just due to the fact that, you know, we have, I'm injured, and I'm unfortunately one of our best units, which feels weird for me to think about, but it's true. Uh, and I'd like to be able to have me ready to go in the event that something big happens. I got eight days until I'm on my feet. Five days for this guy, four days for our new Psy operative who is in the, in cooking, cooking in the books here. So we'll see. Um, we will see. Hopefully everything goes fine. Uh, but we'll, we'll see how this all goes down in a little while here. He has gotten Psy Operative, Marco Sanchez, is a, has gotten Soul Fire. Does guaranteed psionic damage to an organic enemy and ignores cover and armor. Cool. Continue training. Cool. Welcome to the front lines. Dirtbag. Uh, grants a bonus action immediately to a nearby squad mate. Oh, God. If an enemy is carrying explosives, they can be remotely detonated by the Psy Operatives. Project a beam of terrible power that damages every target it passes through. This attack can penetrate multiple enemies and obstacles. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, let's do that one. That one seems, that one seems good. <laughs> um, between episodes here, I spent all of our Illyrium cores upgrading some stuff, but, you know... We'll see. I'll, we'll talk about it in a minute. Inform, the Inform me of what? Right Commander, Central, the Shadow Chamber has completed its analysis of the Avatar's DNA. It has identified the genetic sequence necessary to travel through the psionic gate. Perfect. We can finally shut this Avatar project down for good. However, the gate requires more than a mere transmission of genetic data. The sequence has to be part of a live subject. The key only works in lockstep with the signal. We don't have time to find another one of those things, let alone capture it. No. That part we can handle. We make our own. You're serious? Quite. Though the specimen before us is damaged beyond repair, it has provided us with its complete genetic blueprint. We already possess an unaltered avatar template from the Forge facility. That combined with the genetic material we recovered at the black site should allow us to replicate the procedure here. So, what's the catch? Yes, that. Without an elder consciousness driving it, the new avatar would remain as lifeless as the one before us. While I can develop its body, I cannot create the mind to drive it. But I can, in a way by manipulating the new avatar via the psionic network. You want to operate one of these things by remote control? Not exactly. And definitely not me. Interfacing directly with their network would cause severe, if not fatal, trauma to an unprepared central nervous system. As it stands, we only know of one individual who has survived that kind of ordeal. Oh, come on! <laughs> That was different. The stasis suit created the perfect interface to the network, one tailored to your specific biology, Commander. Of any human candidate, you are the most likely to survive the connection. Most likely is not good enough, Doctor. It is the only answer I can give you, and our only option to traverse the alien portal. All right, that's pretty dope. Plan before we charge through the enemy's front door. Give you some time to think about this, Commander. Look, man, if it's the only option, it's the only option. Let's let's not fuck around here. Being something else entirely, something beyond anything we have ever seen. Yet somehow our troops once again failed. It didn't even get a shot off. That thing died like a bitch. Alright, um so what am I supposed to be doing here? Crew 
are to be commended. Your efforts in rebuilding the Resistance Network and uncovering the truth about the Avatar Project have been admirable. I only wish I had better news to report. Kind of the ever. Advent is not taking the death of an elder lightly, and in turn have greatly accelerated the final stages of their Avatar Project. A plan is now in place for the rapid processing of all non-essential human life to begin immediately. Very soon, Advent's speaker will announce a breakthrough in gene therapy, a final treatment for the human condition. Billions will flock to gene therapy clinics across the globe. They will never return. I have managed to secure tactical data and access codes to the Advent Network Tower. The speaker's address will be broadcast live to a global audience via this facility. The whole of Advent's network will be listening. It is this hubris that we must use against them. The information I am sending you should allow Dr. Tigan and Chief Engineer Shen to take control of the transmission and disrupt their entire network from within. Though my hope is that this disruption will confuse the enemy's forces long enough to allow your final assault a chance of success, I ask one more thing of you. Take what you have learned. Let the world know what is happening here. Wake them up. Broadcast the truth before there is no one left to listen. Oh no. It seems we are both out of time. Farewell, Commander. Oh no! Optimus Prime! <laughs> oh god! Yeah, it does look like we've got our work cut out for us. Do I have a time limit for this? We have the target site locked in, Commander. This is our chance to strike at Advent's heart. Once we control the network tower, we can finally show the world what the aliens are doing. There's no turning back after this. Can I can I delay that for a little while? Like, am I allowed to do that? Because I got plenty of fucking time on the Avatar project at this point, but. I'm aware, but I I don't want to go in without, like, I want to be able to do these things. Uh, Squad-wide individual concealment. That sounds good. Squad reflexes, video feed, like, all of this stuff seems really good. And I want to go in with... Let's fucking launch the mission. We need 148 intel. How are we going to get 148 intel? It's going to take forever to get by doing it like this. But we'll see. Because we could go do that mission right now, but I would like to go in with all of the advantages if we can. That would be nice. The Avatar Project has made progress on its own, naturally. That's okay, though. Oh my god, Bradford, shut up. I also, I want to have this psychic unit. If we can. There's a couple things that I want. And we're going to get them. Alien infiltrators. Let's let's get rid of... Which one of the one... Yeah, let's get rid of this one. Or maybe... 209 supplies is pretty good. Let's get rid of this one. We'll do this mission. Um, I want to have... If nothing else, I would like to have... The concealment available. And that's 35. Um... If we don't do it on this episode, we'll do it on the next episode. That'll be what we do. Can I bring... Can I bring the psychic unit with us? Can. But he's, he's in training. Let's let him keep doing his training. Um, we'll bring... I will bring uh, some of the off people. Some of the people who aren't... Joan Evans and stuff. Not that, like, I'm concerned, but I'm not that concerned about losing people at this point. I just don't want to lose anybody important. Does that make sense? Uh, we have 
I know Antonio, Antonio Faiza and myself should be fine, but I would, if we can keep Evans and, no, we have to bring, we have to bring the, uh, we have to bring Anastasia with us, because she needs to get leveled up, and we'll ditch the Skulljack for a Mimic Beacon, there's no reason to bring that, um, Uh, what else we got? We got some other stuff, though. Let's bring Talon rounds instead. Talon rounds are good. Uh, and Talon rounds will be extra good for our shotgun use. Okay, let's do this mission. We'll do this one, and then we will... We'll talk about what's going to happen over the next couple episodes here. Because I could waste all the time in the universe scanning for... Scanning for intel, essentially. To just get intel. But we'll see. See, we'll see if that's the course we end up taking. 148's a lot. It's a little bit too much intel for me to farm up. And we don't have any data pads or anything like that to help us out with that. Destroy alien relay. That shouldn't be that hard. Just killing the relay's not hard. It's sort of surviving all the other horseshit that's hard. You know, I, I'm i nervous about this, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. That avatar was really underwhelming. The more I think about it, the more I'm like, you know, hot damn, that was underwhelming. <laughs> but that's okay. Well, uh, we'll get to it. Cool. Oh. Yes, we are. Let me at. All right, let's dash up to here. I know that's uh, not not the best idea in the universe, but if there's nothing up here, it's a great idea. It's the best idea if there's nothing up here. <laughs> if everything goes exactly according to how I think it's gonna go, it's the best idea. Because <laughs> then we'll be able to capitalize on this rooftop here uh, with our sniper unit. Sniper unit A142 Antonio Schmidt, which, you know, is our backup backup unit. Because everyone knows that unit Evans is, is really the best unit. Evans has really come along, you know. We we've had a lot of a lot of heartbreak and we've lost a lot of a lot of units during the course of this game, but I'm happy that Antonio, a unit I made at, like, literally the beginning of the game, I think he's the first sniper we got at the beginning of the game here. Um, he's held in tough this entire time. He's stayed alive and, you know, through blunder and idiocy and learning, uh, I've managed to not have him die. But we end the game, we end the game not only with our, you know, original cast of units here, but with, uh, with a new guy, a couple a uh, couple people that uh, we gained along the way, that are very useful and have been great assets to us over the course here. Let's hack this. Well, let's take a look, and we're not gonna hack it yet, but let's take a look. Um, let's take a look, and then we will see. We got deception. Hundred percent chance of getting deception. Can gain control two random enemies for, or gain control of a random enemy for two turns. Soldier gains complete immunity to the next attack. I mean, we can't fail on this one. Let's just do this one. Screw it. I mean, we rolled really well. We probably could have done override, but whatever. I'd rather there's a hundred percent chance for me to succeed here, so I've got no problem with that. Maybe we'll grab something good. It's a heavy mech. Hacked a heavy mech. Heavy mech that's inside with the thing that we have to destroy. So this might actually be totally in our favor here. That Andromedon being so close to us is not, but whatever. We'll deal with it. The heavy mech has been hacked. It's not going to be able to act on this turn, but we'll deal with it. I always say that, and then we always do, but, you know, it does not stop me. Oh, I forgot to equip. We got uh, some new heavy weapons between episodes here, um, and I forgot to equip them, which, you know, sucks, but whatever, what am I gonna do? Let's, uh, definitely want to hit the Andromedon, we can, let's hit the Codec too, right, let's do that, that shot's good, there you go, suck on this one, all 
Alright, that should make this one split. Which it did. Where'd that clone end up? Clone end up way the hell over there. Not ideal. Uh, that thing got revealed for some reason. Oh, this is gonna go real tits up in a second, isn't it? Ah, but we have our... Our, uh, ranger is still hidden. So let's move her in. She'll take care of the relay while the rest of us deal with the bad guys here from this, like, strong advantage, this very advantageous position up here on top of this roof. Whoa, 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 what happened? Did I die? The roof broke, but... Oh, no, I just fell. <laughs> okay. Um, let's take a shot at this guy. Alright, the Andromedon is dead. I only fell down one floor, right? Yeah. But that puts me in danger of this thing coming up and punching me in the, in the square in the head. So, I'm not happy about that. Let's take another shot at it. Screw you. Lots of damage. Let the building on fire slightly. Which is not good. But we will... No, that's our friendly. Let's take a look. Have the Lancer out. Do that. Here. Right in the head. Let's not attack the unit that I hacked. That seems like it would be a poor choice. And then we'll pistol overwatch up here. That should be good. I just realized FISA doesn't have cover in the direction that uh, the Kodak ran away to. Alright. Oh, I know why that thing got revealed now. Makes perfect sense. It's because... Uh, because the heavy mech saw it. That's what happened. Alright. Hiya! Hadouken! We'll probably drop rockets. If these guys stay clustered together enough, we'll... Oh, never mind. Apparently the, uh... This dude's gonna do it for me. <sighs> Miss, you suck. Well, if these guys stay clustered up enough, we'll drop rockets all over this area. How many shields can you give these guys? Okay, so you can't get redundant shields. You can only be shielded up to a certain amount. Maybe we'll just run this inside and blow up that thing with it. Maybe. We'll find out. These guys are pretty clustered up, though, so it might be in my interest to run over there and punch them in the head. Oh, this is bad. Please be too slow. Pistol shot. Pop, pop. Ah, oh, big miss. And we destroyed that entire full cover implement. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. That's bad. I mean, it's not that bad. It's bad, but it's not that bad. I mean, we're good. We got... We have the ability to handle this, I think. Let's go from here. Which hopefully, yeah, it does like doesn't reveal us to anything particularly disastrous to our health. And then we will reload. Fantastic. Uh, and then we'll Overwatch. I forgot that I gave myself a uh, an auto loader. Highly useful. Uh, let's go here. That's outside of the zone, if I'm not mistaken. That's a shot. I forgot that that was down there. A little bit of damage. The three armor blocked a lot of it, though. So, Faisal won't be out of commission for too long. Too, too long here. But we will have to deal... We gotta take out this Andromedon, like, right... Right now-ish. Let's, let's pop cereal. Uh, can I, can I have Antonio, please? Thank you. Pop, uh, let's kill this Andromedon shell. Get rid of you. Dead. Fantastic. Then Antonio has another shot. On uh, let's take this one. But let's do a dead eye shot on the shield bear. Fifty three is not bad, so let's take this. You missed. That sucks. It's the first miss we've had with Antonio in a while, though, so I'm not super beat up about it. And then let's dad. Let's run you to this corner. Get you out of the way of the explosion there. Let me reload. Uh, you. Okay. 
Can you get inside? Yes, you can. Let's get you inside. We'll just put rounds into the stupid this thing. We'll just kill it if we can. Yeah, why don't you take that out? Put a little damage down in it. Pew, 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 pew. Did you mean to fire? Shit. That Kodak didn't see it coming. Neither does that Lancer. But let's... Let's be smart. Let's keep her concealed for right now. In the event that everything starts going, like, really, really, like, over the hill here, it might be important that she's nearby to make sure that we, um, have the ability to handle the objective. I think this is a good idea. Boom! Dead. Dead as hell. Get out of here. We got the shield bearer coming down to take a crack at our hacked heavy mech. Which honestly is fine by me. I don't, I don't even got a problem with that. You got a problem with that? I don't, I don't got a I don't got a problem with that. Um, we need to get rid of these shield bearers though, because they are there are too many of them. Ooh, yike, Yahtzee! That that did that did damage. Like I said, it'll be important that we have a unit nearby to handle the, to take out the transceiver thingy in the event that we need to do that. So, that's fine. Our ranger is still invisible. That should be an overwatch shot, isn't it? Something moved around. Yes, it sounded like something moved around. That could have been anything. It could have even been a. It could even could have been a lawyer. You know, actually, now I'm thinking about. It, I wish we'd hacked that Andromedon shell instead of destroying it. That would have been nice. Let's get out from underneath the acid here. Take a crack at the shield bearer. Suck on this one, nerd. Ah, right, he's dead. Which maybe gets rid of all of the shields. That would have been too easy. Uh, let's put you... Fiza, 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 where are you gonna go? Let's put you here, next to next to me. That'll be nice. The acid burned right through that building. Alright, this house will be a great place for us to hunker down for a little bit here. Let's wait on Anastasia here. Bogdanovan, let's do this. Suck on this one. Nerd! You should be on fire, or at least traced, which gives everyone else an advantage to shooting him. Shield has been removed. Good, let's grab Antonio. Antonio needs to reload anyway, so let's uh, put him here, and then he will reload. Which is good, good. Alright, and then you... Let's just leave you here. Teleport. Where'd you go? Right, you're down there. Which is not ideal, but it's also not that big of a deal either. Big miss. I didn't fall through the floor again, so that's nice. Am I on fire? No, I'm not on fire. This thing's going to be scary. Because I'm going to actually have to like sit down and deal with it. This is bad. I mean, the zombies aren't that bad. We can deal with them pretty easy, but everything else is pretty bad. Um, and I already used my shard gun and Fiza, and I forgot to equip her with the cool beam lance thing that I that I purchased with you know six easy payments of nineteen ninety nine. Uh, let's drop this thing right here, which hopefully. If we can get rid of the shield bearer, it'll make taking out everything else a lot easier. Uh, token! Cool. I killed one of those zombies, too, so that's nice. Disoriented the gatekeeper, which got rid of all the zomb zim the zimbimbos. <sighs> okay, not a problem. 
We we got this. We got this. Don't worry about it. I uh, I've got a I've got a plan. And that plan involves killing this thing. Hopefully this doesn't destroy my cover, or we'll be in trouble. Getting rid of that shield's important. That codec needs to die as well. Got a lot of things that need to die right now. All of whom I wish would be dead uh, immediately, but that's alright. We'll take out this Heavy Lancer with Schmidt, because Schmidt needs to level up. Pop! Schmidt missed, because Schmidt sucks, and I hate him. Uh, let's not do you yet. Because I might end up using our ranger to handle the gatekeeper. Well, we definitely need to take out the, the transceiver thing. But I don't want to do it quite yet. So let's reload. Got no idea where the codec went. I know it's somewhere nearby, but I don't know where exactly it is. Let's uh, put Anastasia here. Got some stealth ops going on. You have a nice shot on the gatekeeper with 65% chance to critical strike it. But let's... Let's be patient. No, you know what? Screw patience. Let's take this thing out now. The gatekeeper is disoriented, so... This might be... This will be a good opportunity for us to do this. Might have been a good opportunity for us to attack the gatekeeper, but, you know, whatever. It's fine. Good. Anastasia leveled up as well. That'll help us out in the future here. The gatekeeper is still disoriented, so that's good. This, it being disoriented made those zombies fall down, so um, I'm chalking that up to that's a good thing. I'm glad we did that. How are you doing? You're going to do that field thing? Where are you put in the field? On top of Antonio and Schmidt? You bastard. That was not a good idea, because, I mean, I still have bullets and... Fucking FISA still has bullets and. Ooh! I took a lot of damage there. 11 damage to be precise. Ah, ooh! Ooh! I'm glad I'm wearing heavy armor. <laughs> that would have been. That would have been nasty. Um. I mean, it almost was nasty anyway, but still. Okay. Uh, it's Anastasia's turn, apparently. But it's not Anastasia's turn because I can't control her. A bunch of shit exploding, apparently. That's why we weren't allowed to do actions. Let's heal myself. This should take half an action. And then... I wish we had robotic enemy nearby that I could use haywire protocol on, but we don't. So let's just take the shot. Nine damage. Not bad. Uh, that gives it a three HP? Three HP. Man. Because I've got twelve HP. Oh. Oh my god. Um, the ideal thing right now would actually be for us to be able to blow up, to throw a grenade here. Like, hit both of them. Yeah, that'd be great. We'll shred some of this thing's armor. Two armor, actually, because plasma grenades shred two armor. Um, and then we'll kill the other one as well. Just fantastic. Fan freaking tastic. Then we'll take this shot, 100%, to kill this guy. Dead as hell. There's no way we could miss, so I'm not beating up about the, the grazed shot there. Let's uh move out of the way of that field and have Schmidt reload. Let's move Antonio out of the way as well. And have him do a similar action. Put him here. He can't, uh, he won't be able to see the, uh, gatekeeper, but the gatekeeper won't be able to see him either, so. It's an ideal location. Okay, the gatekeeper is no longer disoriented, but it's also alone. Which means that we're gonna be able to pour all of our firepower into it. It is attacking Anastasia. Please stop. No, it's not. It's attacking me again. Am I dead? No. I'm alive. Dear God, I'm glad I healed myself. <laughs> oh, that would have been, that would have been nasty if I hadn't healed myself. I'm, uh, I'm glad I was cautious. That armor is tough. Take this shot. Really need to send Fiza to get Shredder instead of Blast Armor. 
Blast Armor was great at the beginning of the game, but it is not very useful now. One point of armor is no less bueno. Let's take this one out. Ha cha cha cha! Kaboom! Anastasia did not give a fuck. That thing exploded right in her face, and she did not give a fuck. Alright, apparently I'm the only one who got injured. Nope, we got two wounded. Uh, who else got wounded? Was it Faiza? Faiza took two damage. That's exactly what happened. I dealt a lot of damage. I dealt a lot of damage. But, that felt good. It was a good round. It's a good mission. You know, it uh, put a couple people in the hospital, but... That's all right. We'll uh, we'll deal with that. We'll deal with that in just a moment. Mostly because I I'm not doing that radio tower mission without all four of our colonels. <laughs> uh, no, no way in hell, not happening. Uh, I appreciate that. You know, delaying it any further is sort of you know, it's not it's not cool. But uh, no, I'm not doing it because let, let, let's look at it. Let's look at this logically, right? Let's say I decide to rush the mission for the sake of, you know, the let's, like, basically the sake of entertainment, I'm going to rush into what is probably going to be the last or second to last mission in the game, right? And everyone on the mission dies because I rushed into it. We didn't bring our colonels, we didn't bring a hacker, we didn't bring the healer, we didn't bring, uh, we didn't bring freaking Fiza of all people who has all of the heavy equipment, all of the grenades, all that stuff. We didn't bring none of that. It goes super south. Everyone on the mission dies. Probably Antonio, uh, the Viking, Schmidt, and uh, Evans would all die. Right? And uh, then what? Then the, the Let's Play screwed and I have to restart the whole thing. That's not happening. We'll, uh, we'll wait. We'll be patient. I'm sure it'll be worth the wait. All right, Schmidt got promoted, which is great. We'll give Schmidt face off. I like face off more than kill zone. Um, conceal immediately. Enter concealment once per mission. Interesting. Run and gun. Take an action after dashing. We're taking run and gun. As that conceal seems great. Screw it. We'll take a run and gun. Um, oh, that's really sad, actually. <laughs> Uh, cause there's nobody there to, to talk to us anymore. Oh no. Um, alright, you are cooking up a something good nice, which is nice. We'll scan for a little bit, and, uh, a soldier. Let's investigate. Not rookie, it's a soldier. Just a soldier. So let's, uh, let's take a look. Maybe it'll be somebody super great, super dope. Maybe it'll be somebody who's died. Special Forces. A Special Forces unit? Faiza has recovered. Ooh, Marcos has gotten the Null Lance, which is great. Soul Steel. Transfers half of the damage done back to the Psy Operative as health. Oh, that sounds really good. Right, it's a bonus action immediately to a nearby squad mate. If an enemy is carrying explosives, they can be remotely detonated by the Psy Operative. Ooh. Um... We'll do Soul Steel. Seems like a good idea. And we'll keep scanning this thing. Incoming resistance uh, communication. Oh, that's depressing. <laughs> it's just there's no central. There's no Optimus Prime to talk to us and tell us that we're doing a bang up job. I get, we'll go get the supplies in a minute, but um, it's actually really depressing. <laughs> Right, we got a Colonel Grenadier, another Grenadier. Nice. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll get that. Um, alien alloy and crystals. Now let's get the supply drop, and then we'll get the supply drop. We'll scan for intel, and then I'll call it quits for this episode. This one ran a little long too, but again, we got a lot done. The mission just took a while. Continue training. I want mind control if we can get that. Soul Lance, Psy Operative surrounded by an aura that immediately extinguishes or blocks any mental impairment for themselves and nearby squad mates. Let's do Inspire next. Inspire seems like a good idea. Um, I'm liking having all these Psy abilities, but we'll see how 
practically useful are because we're gonna once I have all these supplies I'm gonna get all of the remaining guerrilla tactics training and then we're gonna we'll probably take action against the radio tower after that Let's fly back to Resistance HQ. Maybe we'll also... No, we can't spend the intel, but... Sorry, let's recruit new staff. What do we got? A um, Colonel Ranger. Ranger. And an engineer. Now, let's... uh, We'll wait on that. Okay. And I think uh, that's going to do it for this episode. So thank you all for watching. If you like what you saw, let me know. If you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe to my channel to keep up to date on when I post more videos. And if you really like what you saw, leave a like. It helps the channel grow. It helps me out a great deal. And of course, with that, thank you all for watching. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye! -ya.